when Our Lady appeared to St. Bernadette in Lourdes on a cold winter day in 1858, young Bernadette was searching for firewood in what was something of the village dumping grounds. She heard a gust of wind and looking, looking a bit up the rock cliff above where she was, she saw this unimaginably beautiful woman emerge from a brilliant yet very soothing light. It would be six weeks during the 15th apparition, apparition that the vision would finally identify herself, calling herself the Immaculate Conception. But until then, Bernadette did not know and never said that the beautiful young woman was the Virgin Mary. Rather, she called her simply that one. In the local dial dialect, akero means that one. Something so awesomely beautiful that deeply attracted Bernadette to return. In spite of the pressure and the threats that she was receiving to put her into jail or into a mental asylum, it was an encounter with the world of the divine, immense beauty, while Mother Mary simply brought a profound sense of being loved and being at home and at peace. An invitation to follow and to be transformed. The Lord calls to us in Lent through the words of the prophet Isaiah, today we hear, wash yourselves clean, cease doing good, cease doing evil, learn to do good. Mary Immaculate is with us at our side during Lent to show us what all this means. To be truly holy, to be free, to be able to love as Jesus loves. Yet remember, Mary's journey, journey on this planet was as a wife, a mother, a good neighbor in a small village. The Lord criticizes the Pharisees for their false fabricated holiness. We can easily fall into Pharisaic, Pharisaic ideas. One would be that holiness, goodness, are really so out of reach, like something in another universe, a different universe in, than the one in which we live, or another, that being holy and being, being good is something weighty, depressing, hard. Mother Mary wants us to know that nothing is more beautiful and brings happiness than following Jesus by loving God with our whole being and our neighbor as ourselves. In simple, everyday ways. Certainly it requires grace and effort to do so. Yet we can walk this way by trusting in God and giving ourselves in self-sacrificing love in our families and with all around us. Lent is meant to be a peaceful time, finding a simple inner joy as we strive bit by bit to shed, us, sh shed ourselves of what is truly uh, keeping us from being truly free in Christ. The useless baggage like selfishness and judgmentalism, resentments, fears, disordered desires. Holy Mother, lead us gently, yet surely, on the road to life, to eternal life. Amen.